Hi everybody! So I'm going to be showing you everything that I got for Christmas this year. Now I usually do this on my other channel, my Mrs Brimple's account, um, and it has always historically gone down really really well, people love this sort of video. But as this is a Christmas channel, I thought why not do it on my Christmas channel this year? So it might give you some ideas if you're looking for people to buy maybe next year or um, upcoming birthdays or um, what have you. I thought you might find it interesting, you know, so particularly if you think someone's like me or whatever. So let me show you what I got. This is everything that I got from my friends and family, like both sides, all that kind of stuff. So let's start with this one. This John got me this. It's a sandwich toaster um, and <laughs> we got a panini press for our wedding and I used to love making, I never really used it for paninis but I used to use it to make like a toasted sandwich because I do like a warm toasty sandwich and it broke and I was a little bit like, hmm, I can't remember when it broke, I think it was sometime this year um, and I hadn't mentioned it, I'd kind of sort of, sort of hadn't I sort of forgot and then I kind of got used to not having it. And I guess John had remembered. I think it was him that broke it, actually. <laughs> um, so he'd remembered and so he bought me a sandwich toaster. So I'm really excited by that. And because it's Christmas, I do have some brie <laughs> in and some cranberry sauce. So I might make myself a brie and cranberry toasty. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Some people are like kitchen appliances, like... Not very exciting, but for me, I, this is an awesome present. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward. And I also like making, I don't know what to tell you, because uh, you might judge me and think I'm weird, or you might think this is amazing. I like making cheese and crunchy peanut butter toasties. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I got a scarf and when I got this open the scarf um it um this was actually from John as well and we had a giggle about it and um reminded me of that scene in Love Actually but like oh but you always love scarves <laughs> which is true I do <laughs> I've and then I was like oh no am I that age now so it's a super chunky scarf it's by it's from Jules Jules um and it's I'm gonna hold it up so there's like a rainbow scarf um and it's huge um i have a few a couple of scarves that and i'm like i'm always in the same scarf in the photos so it'd be nice to have a different scarf this year in my photos <laughs> i love it it is so warm and snuggly and gorgeous, and I love it. Um, I'll show you another present from Mr. B. Um, he bought me a robe, which is something that I have wanted for a while. Um, I have a fleecy, fluffy dressing gown, but I've wanted like a, you know, a, a slinky number. You know, you know when you watch those videos and they go, I'm going to slip into something more comfortable. And then they lounge around with their cocktail. You know, that kind of robe. Um, <laughs> so I haven't actually tried it on yet. Um, uh, it's from Ann Summers. It's, um, yes, he went into Ann Summers. <laughs> um, it's like a leopard print and it's got some like black lace on the hem. Black, black lace. How's that look? Is that a good look for me? I feel like that could be a good look. Um, so yeah, so I haven't tried it on yet, but um, I like it. <laughs> Just need to get the gin and tonic out, don't I? Um, okay, so let me show you everything else. I'm not gonna tell you who these are all from, because um, that'll just take for ages. <laughs> um, I got a book. Um, this is a Scottish fairy tales, myths and legends by Marie Kidd. Look at the illustrations on that. That is just, I am a sucker for illustrations because I'm an illustrator myself. Um, and that is just amazing. So it says, from the mysterious cat-faced lady whose magic allows a servant girl to attend a prince's ball to the princess who meets an enchanted frog 
from ogres and hooded crows to fairy bagpipes and shape-shifting monsters. Cannot wait to read that. That sounds amazing. Um, I got two lots of bubble bath. Probably, I think, because I'm always complaining that we haven't got any bubble bath. And don't get me wrong, I love my children to pieces. I love them so much. Um, but at the end of the day, when you just want to have like a nice relaxing bath and all you've got is, you know, baby bubble bath, I'm sometimes like, oh, <laughs> I want some adult bubble bath. And we, and <laughs> I don't know why, we always seem to have the kids one, but we often run out of the adults one. So I got two bubble bars, two Radox bubble bars. Um, so what's this one? Um, blended with minerals, black pepper scent and ginseng. And this one is um, blended with minerals, herbs, lavender and water lily. So that will stop me complaining for a little while. So I can have a nice adult relaxing bath. <laughs> um, yeah, now, um, this is already half gone. <laughs> Maltesers, white chocolate. I didn't know they did Maltesers in white chocolate. White chocolate is my favourite. I love white chocolate. And, yeah, Maltesers in white chocolate. I can tell you now, they were nice. <laughs> I have got a few left. My eldest daughter was like, can I try one of them? No. <laughs> You've got plenty of your own sweets. I am not sharing. They are mine. Um, I got more chocolates. I got Lint Balls Assorted Chocolate, which is nice. Um, <laughs> there's a bit of a theme here. <laughs> I got a Lint Ball. How cool is that? Um, oh, wouldn't that be amazing if that was solid chocolate? No, it's not. It's got little balls inside it. <laughs> um, oh, something fell over there candle this is from oh it hasn't got a name on the brown box it smells absolutely lovely is it scent philosophy yeah scent philosophy zooey 22 number number eight just a, it's a plain candle in a beautiful brown glass bottle and it smells amazing absolutely amazing absolutely what amazing um it's a shame we can't do smell a vision because that would be that would be so cool, particularly as I've also got some bath bombs. Um, and I don't know what they are because um, they don't have any labels on. Apparently, they don't put labels on their bath bombs anymore. So, I've got this big blue one from they're from Lush, I've got them in the little brown thingies, but apparently, yeah, they don't do labels anymore. Um, a little bear, lavender bear, that's so cute. These are from Mr. B, actually, and he's put them in plastic um, because, um, and don't worry, the fact that, like, it's eco, these plastic, we use these for our business, and they're actually made of potato starch, and so you can put them in the compost bin. And the reason they're in plastic is because they, um, one year he bought me some bath bombs, and they were just in paper, and I had some, like, chocolate, like, gold coins, which I don't know where they are. Um... And all my gold coins ended up tasting like bath bomb. <laughs> that wasn't a pleasant experience. And then one more bath bomb. A little snowman. That is so cute, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Clearly, I complain a lot about <laughs> not having a nice bath. Um, <laughs> I know. So I got my daughter, bless her, my eldest daughter. She bought me a mug. She knows mummy likes her tea. Beautiful mug. I'm probably going to use this all year round. Little deer with a little robin and some botanicals down the top, which I love. And she bought me a matching coaster with my initial on it, A. So yeah, love those, bless her. She was so, so pleased as punch when she like watching me eagerly, um, opening it and yeah I again <laughs> more bath bombs <clears throat> so I've, I've clearly been um complaining a lot <laughs> like everybody knows I love the Nutcracker so I got a Nutcracker and the Four Realms DVD so can't wait to watch that but then 
ironically, it's on iPlayer this year. <laughs> but um, at least if I enjoy it, if I like it, at least having the DVD, I'll be able to watch it again and again and again. We do still very much use DVDs in this house. <laughs> um, long story short, we had a massive problem with our internet for months and months and months and months and we couldn't watch TV. So we resorted back to DVDs. On the Nutcracker team, I have got the book of the Nutcracker in the Four Realms. So I'm going to try and read this before we watch the film. And to go with this book, um, this is a present from my mum and dad, um, I've got tickets to go and see the Nutcracker Ballet in a few days' time, which I'm really, really excited about. My, my daughter's got tickets too, my eldest. Um, my mum and dad bought my eldest daughter and I tickets to go and see the Nutcracker Ballet. I got a Nutcracker book to go with it and she got a Nutcracker ornament as a keepsake to go with it. We're both very excited to go and see the Nutcracker Ballet. I've seen it once before in London at the Colosseum, Colosseum. Um, we're both big, big Nutcracker fans in this house, me and my oldest daughter. So I can't wait to go and see it with her and experience it. Um, and then lastly, <laughs> When I was younger, um, like late teens, early 20s, I used to wear novelty rucksacks all the time. And I kind of, oh, actually, this isn't the last thing. I'm wearing the last thing. Anyway, um, I used to wear novelty rucksacks all the time. And I put this one on my Christmas list. How awesome is this? <laughs> it's a fat rucksack. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love it. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit weird. <laughs> this is awesome. I know. And then lastly, I'm going to take them off. Whew. If I can. I've got slippers. <laughs> and I have worn them ever since um, I opened them. It's not Christmas without slippers, is it? It's not Christmas without slippers, but these are so cute. And these are the most comfortable slippers I think I've ever owned. Um, and these were from Boots. <laughs> Love it. Oh, I do have one more thing. I do have one more thing, but it keeps going missing. <laughs> because um, my daughters have taken a liking to it. A warmies, you know, the toys that you put in the microwave that have got like... Um, grains in it and they smell of lavender and, and stuff I got one of those I got a llama one but my daughters quite like it and it keeps going walkies <laughs> so I also got one of those which I love um hmm, need to go and find that but I can't show it to you but yeah that is everything that I got for Christmas I was very lucky this year very spoilt very grateful and happy me. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.